happening in uh, Israel at the moment is the Australian Jewish Association. Their CEO, Robert Gregory, joins us now. Robert, good morning. Good morning. Thanks there, for having me on. Two issues to address here. Firstly, the statement from the three prime ministers yesterday and then, of course, the UN resolution that Australia supported. It seems to... Do, do you get the impression that our government just doesn't get it or is there something more to this? Well, that's certainly the impression we get. Um, obviously, we're very disappointed. We're not shocked. Uh, it's the latest in a series of, we would say, hostile anti-Israel moves from the Albanese government. Um, but, yeah, it's obviously very disappointing. We should be showing solidarity with Israel during this time, not trying to pressure them to make a ceasefire with a terrorist group. What was your response to that joint statement from the uh, Prime Ministers of Australia, Canada and New Zealand yesterday? Uh, for mine, they seem to be trying to have two bob in four different directions. Well, we think it was very unhelpful, statement and also quite unnecessary. I mean, I'm not sure what prompted them to make it. And their statement also is quite different to what Australia voted on in the General Assembly. So you're right, they are, they're really trying to have two bob each way. The, the General Assembly resolution, the biggest concern for, my, for me there, and you know, I, 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 look, all of us want to see an end to this conflict. There's no two ways about that. But uh, there seems to be this view that a terrorist organisation, Hamas, is going to adhere to international law. But when amendments were moved to actually uh, specifically mention Hamas, they were voted down, and, and yet we still supported that. Yeah, and... What's interesting is that Australia didn't support a very similar vote that came up um, just a short while ago, so I'm not sure what's changed. And you're right, Hamas is a terrorist group. It's not going to honour any ceasefire. They've made it very clear that if there's a ceasefire, they intend to keep planning and carrying out massacres like October the 7th. So just it really doesn't make any sense. I mean, obviously, there are people out there that say, OK, well, you know, civilians are being killed in the response from Israel and, and we'd like to see that avoided. Um, I just had a caller who suggested that had Israel had total disregard for civilians, then there would have been millions killed rather than thousands. I mean, do, does Israel have to temper its response in any way, in your view? Certainly. I mean, I think they are tempering their response. There have been acting very restrained. Uh, nobody wants to see civilian casualties. Uh, this is obviously a war that Hamas started, so any civilian casualties is their responsibility. And the thing is, they could end the war tomorrow if they surrender, hand over the hostages. Israel's not interested in fighting a war. They didn't launch it, and no civilians need to be hurt. One of the things that I see is there, there's a lot of, and I'm sure they're well-meaning people on social media, etc., who just seem to have a, uh, a very warped view of the history of the region and what's actually going on there. Do we need to adjust our education on this? I think so. I mean, unfortunately, we see that as the generations get younger, there seems to be even less knowledge about this. I know particularly TikTok is, is a place where a lot of misinformation is spreading, um, so I think, yeah, Australians are not being taught. I mean, we should know. We, we've had our own experiences with Islamic terrorism. We've had, obviously, the Bali bombings, the Lindt Cafe siege, and quite a few other incidents. And it's not something you can negotiate with. It's something you need to fight and destroy because it's an evil ideology. I think that's well said. Robert, I appreciate your time this morning. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. Robert Gregory is the CEO of the Australian Jewish Association. 6255 12